Hey everyone, so at the end of my original video covering this story, I promised you all that I would keep you updated if things developed further around our Karen's court case. And develop, they have. And the results are going to shock you, but first, for those who haven't seen this story yet, maybe missed it entirely, or may have forgotten the details since it's been about nine months now since I released that last video, a quick refresher. Early last year, in Feb on February 23rd to be exact, a 55-year-old woman named Rita Bellu was captured on a viral video, taken by an employee's phone at a local pizzeria called Amy's in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. And she was acting in a way that can only be described as belligerently racist particularly regarding her displeasure with the Spanish dialect she could hear from the television at this establishment, before realizing she was on camera and changing her tune to play the victim instead. But the incident was recorded almost in its entirety, and she wasn't able to worm her way out of the comments she was seen making. Let's take a gander. Hey, I've been here for 55 years. Guess what? You're out of business. Ironically, I'm pretty sure that word is pronounced ignoramus. Give me a crowd. I want your food. I want a credit for my money right now. And believe me, I will check it. Okay, I'm, I'm a certain suitcase for my account. You probably even know what that means, do you? And she's videotaping me. Yeah, because you're a racist. You're a racist. No, yes, no, you are. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're a victim. I'm not a victim. You're a no, victim. No, I'm not. No, I'm an American. No, you're a you're racist. A you're, you're a, a racist. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're a racist. No, you're I'm not racist. racist. I'm not over here trying to get my money back no, because no, I'm, you're shopping at a too. pizza shop. I'm just asking no for No one cares. You're the racist. I can do this with my phone, too. I can do the same thing. Show everybody you're that you're racist. The race. You're the racist. I'm going to... Film you right now, and I got 4,000 followers. This is our first Karen. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, I've been here, I've been in half row over a hundred years. So you're going to share with everybody that you're racist? No. Yeah. You're racist, no. honey. You're racist. Very racist. I won't. I, I, Why don't I, you keep saying what you were just saying, though? Why don't you just keep videotaping what you were I just saying like, to everyone? I would like a refund because you all, you're, I'm at Amy's. And I am being bullied by these people. Bullied? <laughs> How are you being bullied? Yeah, I'm being bullied by these How people on Amy. Bullied? I have everything and on video. And because trait. I am white, they are videotaping I'm white me. I'm white too. They I'm white are here. videotaping me because I am white. See them? They're calling me a racist because I am white. No, no, no. We're calling you a racist because you're racist. I am not Mrs. Blue Hair. I am not racist. This I am terrible. not racist. You know your colors? I am at Amy's in Conboro, and I am being videotaped because I am white, and they want to call me racist. I am simply asking for a refund because their food, their food is... Terrible. You said that you want to refund no, want because you played Spanish on, on a TV. I want to refund <laughs> on my credit card. I want to refund on my credit card. So therefore, I am racist. I'm at Amy's in Hackborough, Pennsylvania. 
Yeah. I want a refund on my credit card, and they are calling me racist because I am white, and none of them are white. And I you started videotaping me. I asked you, why aren't you giving me a refund on my credit card? Why aren't you? Why won't you do it? I asked you 15 minutes ago to give me a credit on my credit card. Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you giving me? a credit on my credit card. Why? I don't want your food. I don't want your food. Why won't you give me your credit on my credit card? You're calling me racist because I am white. Why? I'm waiting. I got my card right here. Right here. Right here. What's going on, man? Hi. Hi. I know you. Okay. I'm in. Now, when we last left off, you may recall, Amy's Pizza had received a huge influx of support and customers. While Rita Bellu had been charged by Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele with both harassment and ethnic intimidation, which I believe is a hate crime. While charges are a nice step in what many consider the right direction in cases like this, it's not actually a convic conviction or any kind of real punishment, but rather the promise of possible future punishment, right? Well, I'm here to report that Rita Bellu's sentence has finally come down. And it came down just a few weeks ago, in fact. I think it was December 15th, though I think that actually some people might not be very happy with it. In fact, I suspect that at least some of you might think this punishment was infuriatingly light. First, it's important to note that as of the last video, Rita and her lawyer were attempting to get the charges moved to Montgomery County's Behavioral Health Court, which services people with mental illness, severe mental illness, on the grounds that she had a recent breast cancer diagnosis and her father's deteriorating mental health had been weighing on her during this incident. Those were also, you might recall, the excuses she used in her interview to explain away her behavior. Well, they gave her that psychological evaluation and denied that request, first and foremost, given that she was not found to be severely mentally ill. But when it came time to charge Rita in standard issue court, and remember that her two charges were harassment and ethnic intimidation, Rita appears to have gotten a slap on the wrist. I have Rita's court case documents right here, actually, and what appears to have happened is the following. Rita accepted a plea deal on December 15th, 2023, and in exchange for pleading guilty to both summary harassment and ethnic intimidation, Rita was not actually punished for the ethnic intimidation charge. It was designated on her court records as null prost, which is a fancy Latin legalese term, which here means we the court are unwilling to pursue punishment for this offense. In the end, though, it appears this hate crime charge will maybe be on her record. She's only facing real punishment, though, for a harassment charge, which in this case is basically equivalent to a traffic ticket. She was punished with the following conditions. She is to stay away from Amy's Pizzeria forevermore. She will serve a 90-day probation period. She will serve eight hours of community service. She will pay the monthly supervision fee for her probation period. And she will be forced to write a letter of apology to the victim and the staff of the restaurant. And her lawyer, one Patrick J. McMenamin Jr., was obviously very happy with this decision, saying... I think the plea agreement is appropriate under the circumstances. We never felt that her conduct rose to the level of misdemeanor ethnic intimidation. Well, of course, you're her lawyer. Of course, you didn't think that. McMenamin also said that Bellu was in the final stages of writing her apology letter to the family. So apparently she's been working on it for 10 months now. Better be a good letter. Speaking of the family, another person who was actually totally fine with this ruling was the main victim himself, restaurant owner Omar Quinones, who from the research I did in the first part of the story seems like a decent, likable guy. Omar actually expressed that he was satisfied with the outcome, but added that the situation has also brought about additional ups and downs. He said, a lot of good things and bad things came out of it. The good is the business came out of it in pretty good shape and local businesses and neighbors stopped by to show their support. 
The bad is that there are a lot of people out there saying the same racist things. We have received letters from Ohio that were much worse than what this woman said." End quote. Overall, he said it was a very bad experience. My son suffered before me as she started yelling at him and then at me. It has been a great stress. Well, I'm glad at least Omar is satisfied, though he does seem frustrated by the whole situation still. He's satisfied with the outcome and that his business has found some incredible success out of all this. But it just goes to show that there are a lot more decent people out there than atrocious ones. So that's the final word on Rita Bellew's case and the final chapter for one of this channel's most notorious original Karens. I think this was my 12th video I ever did. But what do you think? Was Rita Bellew let off too easy, or was the communal and societal punishment she was handed down, by which I mean going viral for her atrocious behavior and all of the cultural, societal, personal, social punishments that come with that, actually the appropriate punishment for this offense, or this kind of offense, after all? And what do you think the government's role should be in these kinds of verbal altercations? As always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Uh, contrarian opinions and devil's advocates always welcome uh, feelings, concerns, all that stuff. Uh, that about does it for me on this one. I can officially stamp Rita Bellu, the Spanish TV refund Karen, punished! Ish. Okay, see ya.